We have new details for you on criminal allegations against former University of Miami star tight end Kellen Winslow Jr. He'll have to stand trial on a rape allegation in Southern California. He's accused of attacking an unconscious 17-year-old girl in California back in 2003 at a time when we, he would have been on summer break as a student at the University of Miami. I remember sitting on a couch and that was it. She said she passed out drunk and woke up in a bedroom with Kellen Winslow Jr. raping her. She spoke with our affiliate in San Diego about what happened. I was pushing him back to tell him to stop. Do you remember saying anything? I said stop, stop, just stop. The judge ordered the victim's face not be shown and that she only be referred to as Jane Doe. She said the rape happened on June 20th, 2003. At the time, she was 17 and Winslow was 19, home on summer vacation from the University of Miami, where just months later, he would play his junior year of football. She said they were not the only ones in the room. And it looked to the left. Someone was standing there with the camera. Jane Doe said she had no plans to ever report what happened, but then she saw a headline that said Kellen Winslow Jr. had been arrested and charged with rape. The 35-year-old former NFL player is accused of sexually assaulting a hitchhiker and a homeless woman earlier this year. It brought me back to that bed. Jane Doe then called authorities, leading to a preliminary hearing on Monday, where she admitted that she and Winslow had consensual sex two weeks prior to the alleged rape, and that played a factor in why she did not report the incident when it allegedly happened. Because I was 17, drinking underage, I just realized who he was as this person of everybody, he's gonna be in the NFL, he's gonna blah, blah, blah. And I just felt that, why would anybody believe me if I had sex with him two weeks prior? Winslow in this case is charged with rape and rape of an unconscious person. Mr. Winslow never gave you any alcohol. No. His attorney says there are conflicting stories from the victim and her friend about what happened that night. They plan to fight all the charges. He's tarnished his reputation, he's concerned, it's very unfortunate that he has to deal with this situation. He's persevering through it. Well, Kellen Win Winslow Jr. is scheduled to be back in court on October the 30th. If convicted of all the charges, he could face 15 years to life in prison.